How do we do this shit? You guys hear me? Okay. Plus. How you guys doing? I'm just waiting for some peeps to come in here. Good morning. Uh, just waiting. John and Adam. Uh, let's see. Uh, when those guys, when those guys are coming in. When are you announcing the album, Tyler? Uh... I'd say in two weeks. Two weeks, we're going to drop another grat track, uh, which is going to be an awesome, another rock song. And then we're going to announce the album. And I guess, you know, of course, our management's probably watching going, no! <laughs> oh, I'm getting a request. It's not from John or... Let's see. Come on, someone's coming. Let's see. I'm trying to get Adam in here. I'm trying. I'm pushing accept. Come on, baby. I'm trying, Adam. I'm pushing accept. It's gone. He quit. And it's like, Tyler, get your shit together. <laughs> February, New Jersey, yes. Oh, let's see. Let's try it again. Accept. I'm pushing accept. So we got three. I hear somebody. Who is it? John. What's up? How's it going, brother? Good. It's been a while. I got to turn my phone the other way. Give me a second. Get Adam in here. Yeah. How's it going, guys? We got peeps on here. There he is. There we yeah, go, what's baby. Up, dudes? We're in. It's the three singers, <laughs> guys. We're gonna start off with uh, on a D. <laughs> we're gonna do some vocal warm ups. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Means, uh, why am I so close to the camera? Me and Adam are like uh, guitars, and John's in a, in a got a full library. And yeah, uh, John's like super educated. Yeah, Ooh. right. Uh, this is my uh, <laughs> the best place for my internet. <laughs> Sweet. If I, if I can get my camera to stay, there it goes. So where is everybody right now? I'm home. Where are you? I'm home You're in home. Wisconsin. Yeah, it's snowing here today. Really? Yeah, I'm in Nashville. No snow, but it's nippy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm in L.A. It's freezing. It's like 70 degrees. It's, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so, great so, to see you guys, man. I know. You I too, know, man. I, if I knew you guys were going to grow beards for this Instagram live, uh, no one email me about the beard. Because I can grow a beard in like half an hour. But... Right. <laughs> well, that's why you still look young. I haven't seen you in several years. Uh, and so you still look exactly the same. That must be why. It's, it's, as soon as you grow a beard, you look 10 years older and meaner. This magic juice. I drink this magic juice. So now I'm just going to think it's urine or something. It's not <laughs> It's not the magic. Yeah. It's just hydration. So, uh, yeah. So it's amazing. So our, uh, our tour, the tickets go on sale today. People awesome. need to get those tickets, man. Uh -huh. yeah, they I'm need to excited. get those tickets. It's going to be great fun. I can't wait. I haven't been uh, this excited for tour uh, in years, literally. And I know it sounds like I'm lying, but I'm I honestly not. I, uh, I know we've been, our band's been begging to play with, uh, with you guys for for so long we've asked our agent agent to let's where are we what's skillet doing what's going on with skillet and wh what are, why can't we what are we going on with santa sonia like what's there for real like something they're just like why well, you guys all go together 
So this is uh, <laughs> this is awesome, and I just feel mm-hmm. like all of our fans all like it all works perfectly. I think it's all going to click. It's just going to be such a it's going to be the best and biggest rock tour of the year. Ev- uh, the best one of the decade. Let's see. When's the last time? Let's see. When did we tour together? Uh, I, I feel like it was a really long time ago. Uh, anyway, Tyler, I feel like it was 2014, 13. Yeah. And we did that because we did a tour together. Uh, and I don't remember. It was, I think it was an American tour, remember? And I know you guys had. Yeah, it was. It was America. At least we know that. We can agree it was America. <laughs> what information do I have? It was in America. <laughs> Yeah, and it you know, uh, the day. <laughs> yeah, and and you know, uh, Adam, Adam was one of the first uh, first bands that ever let Skillet come on the road with them. So that was in two thousand, maybe seven or something. And uh, at that point, I think we'd only been on tour, really, with Saliva, and and Flyleaf, and uh, all the, it was it was Adam and um, Three Days Grace, of course, and. Uh, and our good friends in uh, Breaking Benjamin, and then it was it was it was an amazing tour. So I've got like great memories. I've always appreciated uh, you, Adam, for taking a chance on us. So thanks very much for that. Oh, of course, man. And you know what's funny is that our first tour of Three Days Grace was with Tyler and Theory across That's right. Canada. So <laughs> That's it's, right. It's all it's all really here. No, yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, you played we, your hometown on that tour. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We did Peterborough, right? That's um, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, yeah. It's crazy how it, how it, uh, it's just come, come full circle, man. We are fired up for this tour. We just put out new music today and, uh, yeah, yeah. we're, we're stoked, man. We, we were supposed to go out in 2020, obviously. Um, I think with Bush and, uh, you know, that tour and then that got ixnate. So we haven't been on the road forever and, uh, we are, we are ready. We've been ready for a while. So, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, man. We're we're fired up, man. Yeah, all mm-hmm. got new music uh, that has come out. Skill, you guys, right. you guys had John had music recently come out. Yeah, that came right? out. The album came out in January, and we are going to be releasing some new stuff soon. And I get I don't know if I'm allowed to announce this or not, but uh, but uh, I guess I will because <laughs> it's rock it's rock and roll resurrection, baby. But uh, <laughs> you know um. In, in, a, in a few months, we're going to be releasing a special song that uh, Adam guest uh, sung some vocals on, and he sounds amazing on it. So uh, I was thrilled that he said yes, and I can't wait for the fans to hear it. Oh, thank you for asking me, man. <clears throat> it's such well, a good song. And, uh, I wonder yeah, if maybe... Uh, so for people to hear it. I wonder if maybe some... Adam, you, will you be singing that on stage? I don't know. I hope so. I, that. That. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure, man. We got to do that. Got to do that. <laughs> I, by the way, guys, I just saw someone said uh, that the Green Bay show was almost sold out already. It's like one day. That's oh, good really? Sign. That's yeah. Amazing. Wisconsin. Uh, us cheeseheads up here. Hometown, baby. <laughs> cheeseheads know what is up up in here. That's right. Are you going gonna to play that show with one of those foam cheese uh, things in your <laughs> cheese head? head. I That'd play every. <laughs> I play every show like that, man. Right. E- every show, I have those huge that huge finger on stage. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be good. We can add. You guys, ask, just, you guys have dinosaur out now. We just released dinosaur like I think three weeks ago, and uh, we've only played it once live. So that was at a festival. Did you, were you guys at that Aftershock? No. No, not Aftershock, no. Uh, no. That's where we just, we played it once, and that's it. So uh, we'll play it live, obviously, in February. So, uh, yeah, we're excited. Awesome. What a song, awesome man. Some new stuff. Thanks. I love that riff. That riff is amazing. <laughs> it's ri- so written in this room. It's written on something. I got a bass. I think I wrote on a bass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we could. You know, what are some fans saying here? John Cooper is my hero. Obviously, not a question, just a badass statement. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, this is this is random. But do you remember when we used to be able to try new music um, for the first time live and not have to worry if it was going to end up on the internet? Yeah. <laughs> so right. it's like, oh yeah, you know, it gives you a chance to like to suck for a while before before you really release the song, you know. But now. 
you got to be really good the first time you play mm -hmm. that song, especially if you're playing it at, you know, Aftershock for the first mm -hmm. time. There's, yeah. all, there's all this pressure now, you know? Oh, yeah. 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 <clears throat> and the phones sound terrible. I don't care. I'm uh, like some people are really uh, bummed out with like technology and fans having control over what they release stuff. I'm all about it. I'm I I love that the the direction of the music industry is going to the fans. I mean, labels right. are freaking out because they're like, we can't control what what happens with the song. We put out a song, the fans are like, nah, we like this one more, and and the, and the labels are pulling their hair out. I love it because that's what we did when we started playing music, right? Which is making Absolutely. music and then yeah. get some fans, and then so I dig that. So yeah, yeah I, I actually I stuff. actually do too. You know when. Uh, <laughs> You know, when pe people first started watching concerts with their phones up, you know, I was like, what's going on? And then I started loving it because now you, you, you meet people that say, I heard of you guys from my friends, you know, Insta Live or something. So, you know, their friends are recording the concert and they have new friends that hear the band. So I, I, I'm with you. I kind of dig it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Man, I'm going to read out some uh, all the places because, you know, I noticed that like fans, you put up the, the tour dates. And then fans will say, you know, no fault of their own, because you can't be always on social media, but they'll be like, are you coming to Detroit? So I'm going to read out all of the places we're going. So if anyone is on here, they can actually see we're actually going to our first show is in Gary, Indiana, Hard Rock Casino, Green Bay, Epic Event Center, which is actually an amazing place. See a show. East Moline, Illinois, Milwaukee. The old Eagles ballroom, that's going to be good. It's going to be ghosts. Mm. I'm sure we've all played that place a thousand times. That <laughs> swimming pool. Yeah. The Fillmore in Detroit, that's also a pretty cool place. Uh, the Santander, Santander Arena in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. Boston, Boston. Roadrunner. Bang Bangor, Maine. Cross Insurance Center. Sarahville, New Jersey. That's a the Theory Show, Starland Ballroom, Rochester, New York, Main Street Armory, Cleveland, Ohio, Agora Theater and Ballroom. It's also a cool place. Mount Pleasant, Michigan, Soaring Eagle Casino Resort. That's also been there a few times. Cincinnati, Ohio, Andrew J. Brady Music Center. Have you guys played there before? I so cannot the, remember. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> me neither, man. Um, it's all a blur. Ballroom. The Agora Ballroom in Cleveland. There, that was our first, uh, our first U.S. show. It was at the Agora, with uh, really? oh, cool, yeah. With I think it was Thursday and Taking Back Sunday, or maybe just Taking Back Sunday. One, one of the two. But yeah, the Agora. I remember that very fun. I love the Agora, Cleveland. Yeah, every everywhere Cleveland. in Ohio is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> yeah, is. it's yeah. great. Yep. Yeah, I know some. Fan, I mean, it, it, the one thing that sucks about doing a tour is that. You can't get everywhere and you can't like, why aren't you coming here? Why aren't you coming in? It's like, ah, oh, we wish we could come here, but the tour will be 11 months long <laughs> and we would die. <laughs> <laughs> so it does suck. I feel, I, I seriously feel bad. Like when fans are, why are you coming to Florida or something? It's like, we will get to Florida. Maybe there'll be another leg of this tour. You know, who knows? I like I it. We'll do it. And then, and then I promise me and uh, me and Adam will sing that song live. So gotta make the whole, gotta make the whole thing go. We can, let's do the deal now. Let's do the I deal. I apologize. Now. We're right. right on the spot. You guys are like, thanks a lot, Tyler. <laughs> what else oh, we got? Pike I mean, Bill. We had to had to get out there at some point. So no better time, I think. <laughs> Pikeville, Kentucky, St. Louis, Springfield, Shrine Mosque. That's I've been there multiple times. I think they have a bingo hall in the basement. Sweet. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we'll be doing some bingo with yeah, Skillet sure. and San Antonio. Tulsa, <laughs> Houston, Dallas, Factory and Deep Elm. That's an awesome place. Kansas City, the old Midland Theater. I'm sure we've all played it a thousand times. Yep. Mm -hmm. Omaha, Denver. Love Denver. Vegas. I think that's our own show. Phoenix, Arizona Financial Theater. Reno. Wheatland, California. I don't think I've ever been to Wheatland, California. Never heard I, don't, of you guys. It, I don't think I have either, but sometimes I get that? confused. You know, I'll know when I see the venue, I'll know. <laughs> I'm sure it's a, yeah. it's a suburb right? of, 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 of some, some, yeah. Sacramento some or something mm -hmm. and then end in LA. And then I can just drive home when you, I can just Uber home after when you, you know, maybe one of your guys' tour buses because they drop me off at my house. 
Well, my team will be going back to Toronto, so yeah, yeah, I'm sure there he doesn't you go. swinging past your place. It's <laughs> a long deadhead. Uh huh. Man, what else were some fans saying here? Of course, a lot of fans are saying stuff like "Come to Brazil." I saw some skill at "Come to Brazil." Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's lots of people from uh, overseas on here. I saw a lot. I saw Adam come to Spain. Somebody's trying to get us to commit to coming to download in the UK, the whole tour. So I don't know who's in charge uh, of booking the entire tour at you in download, but uh, I'm up for it if you guys are up for dude, it. Dude, <laughs> we, we just did. We just did download last year, so we, they don't allow back to back. So us for us, but you guys can definitely just download. It's phenomenal. Yeah. What a what a show I definitely that think is. this tour should go north to Canada. I mean. That would yes. be, that seems to be, I mean, a lot, I've been getting a lot of people asking yeah. about Canada and when we're all going up there and stuff. So it could be great. Yeah. A lot of Canadians were like, what, where's mm-hmm. the Canadian dates? I'm like, well, mm-hmm. this American tour just hold this con, just hold on, hold <laughs> on. Uh, so we, theory of them, man, we have never played uh, South America. Have you, you guys gone out to South America? I feel like you may have, Adam, uh, you have too, John. Yeah, we've done South America a, a couple of times. Because we've never been. Brazil, once Brazil. For us. Um, the yeah, fans are no nuts, Mexico right? <laughs> right, Adam? They're, oh, yeah. They're, in, they're psychotically Brazil, yeah. loud. It's the loudest uh-huh. loudest crowd I've ever heard anyway. Yeah, crazy show I think we ever did was in Brazil. It was, you know, just a big festival, and we were the international band or whatever, and it was insane, yeah. So much fun. But <laughs> never been to uh, like Mexico City or you know all that it just I mean there's so many spots down there yeah. that uh, we haven't been to so it'd be amazing too you know so what would be a what would be a bucket list place for both you guys like John what would be the bucket list yeah. you, like you still Maybe. haven't gone to uh, I, I hardly ever tour Canada so I guess we gotta I guess we gotta tour, tour yeah. Canada I've toured it like yeah. one time you know but uh, but um uh, South Africa never played South Africa. Oh, yeah. That would okay. be mm-hmm. that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, agree. And I, sure. I'd love to go back to Japan. Japan was great fun, and I've only went once. Um, Brazil, I've only been three times, and and I'm looking forward to going back uh, possibly. So I don't know. That would be that would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Japan, we were there for like it felt like two days. You know, played small club really quick, and we were in and out, and would have been amazing to stay a little bit longer so japan for sure for me and you know i just mentioned mexico city uh, i mean most of the shows that i've seen i don't know like friends of ours playing in <clears throat> mexico city are just ginormous shows and the fans are amazing i'd love i'd love to get there never been there mine's got to be brandon manitoba <laughs> you've never been there <laughs> <laughs> no we've definitely played there we played yeah. every place in canada uh-huh. Four thousand times. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, uh, we've never done South, South America, man. That's our bands talked about that quite a bit. And mm-hmm. I actually, honestly, we've never we've done a Europe. We do Europe all the time, uh, uh, and the UK, but we never dip down into any Mediterranean places. We never played like you know Spain, Portugal, Italy. Mm-hmm. So that's like that's the place where you like you go, and then you also get the the free vacation as well. Mm-hmm. that's when people are like well maybe i should fly out as well and you're like yeah like we got a show <laughs> yeah. coming up in uh in hawaii we're going out to australia in january with uh hailstorm uh, on the way there we're we're going to hawaii first so of course i'm going three days uh, three days uh, early to golf i mean why i mean of course why not? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, gotta yeah. go that's mm-hmm. it that's the benefits of being in a band and traveling i guess australia is a fun place to play you know, oh, the, the best. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did it once, did it once with Nickelback years and years ago. And it was so much fun just hitting the major cities on, you know, and just, uh, I think I, I learned or tried to learn how to surf. And really? Didn't go very, yeah. It didn't go very well. Actually I did that. <laughs> too, and that didn't go well there either. Ne- neither, neither time no. did it go very well, but uh, <laughs> you, know. you drink a bunch of salt water. You have to be able to get used to oh, yeah. just, so much salt water going up your nose and it's just i was like, panicking Ugh. like I'd, I'd fall <laughs> off the board and then panic and not know where yeah. you know what i mean you just, you just I, I didn't like that feeling at all it's, like, i don't know where i'm going the instructor's Cause sucks, like cause, yeah you have you to know. go because I I, I I did surfing once in my life in hawaii and i just rented a board right 
And then the guy's like, you have to go way out. And you have to go like really see those guys. You have to go way out there because it doesn't get, it's like, it's only like three feet deep for like a quarter of a mile. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, there's no way I'm not doing it. So of course I go out like a hundred feet. And I see the guys going like this. It's like, skip no. And I'm like, no way, man. <laughs> of course, every time I fall off, bam, I would land on coral and cut my feet. And I'm like, ah, okay. That's why. Right. But I was just too afraid. I was afraid of mm-hmm. sharks and drowning and all this stuff. You should be afraid yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah I've kind of learned uh, after about the age, I don't mean, we're not supposed to say how old we are, but after about the age 30, I decided – I'm done learning new physical things, yeah. you know, because <laughs> yeah. like your body doesn't heal right anymore. You know, it, it's yeah. just like you can't, the dexterity to learn to do a, to do a new sport. It's really difficult. So I, mm-hmm. I'm out, I'm out on learning to surf. I'm done, yeah. but I'll right. go to Hawaii. I'll still go to Hawaii with you. Since, yeah. since, since you're asking me to come on the <laughs> Hawaii trip, I will. Since you can come, ready. you can be the guy, you can be the guy going, Keep going. Keep going. And I'm like, I want to. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I uh, I just actually started this show yesterday called Limitless with Chris Hemsworth. You got to check it out. So it's like a documentary show on, have you heard of it? Yeah. I just read about it yesterday, actually. It's really cool. And it's just like, it's just him overcoming all of these crazy fears. I think the first episode's all on stress. So they do this crazy stuff where they, they hand tie his hands behind his back and his feet and then they throw him into a pool and he's oh. got to like not drown he's got to do all these like military things where he has to go to touch the ball in the pool and come up 20 times and of course he just start getting tired and they tell him like if you drown you fail and it's just like it's i was getting so much anxiety watching it, but it's like it's all about how he had to overcome this anxiety and had to there's a person psychologist there telling what he had to do in the water and it's a really cool uh interesting thing and you mentioned about the physical physical sports and stuff it's like uh mm-hmm. yeah as we get older we just don't want all of that it just seems exhausting <laughs> yeah well i'm yeah. out i'm out on on limitless <laughs> I, I would yeah. never there is no amount of money you could pay me to to tie my hands and feet and throw me into mm-hmm. a pool to nope. see if i just watching it no i'm no not chance. into it not into it uh, no chance. No, <laughs> I'm out. I don't even mind admitting it. <laughs> Done. But, but, uh, back to music. We should uh, – so are we all – we're doing some VIP meet and greets. I know, Skill, you guys are too, John, right? Yeah, I believe uh, that's accurate, yes. Uh, Adam, you guys doing any hang with fans we, or anything? Yeah, we are. We are. We're, I, I, they just haven't gone on sale yet. Still, I guess, trying to sort that out. But, yeah, we, we definitely are. Awesome. It's always yeah. – uh, Always the best part of touring, right? Because you get to meet mm-hmm. people that listen to your songs and you hear these incredible stories. And uh, yeah. I mean, we all, I assume you guys too, we all grew up listening to music and, and we, we idolize these people. And when somebody mm-hmm. comes up to you and they say, your songs saved my life or helped yeah. me through my parents' divorce or whatever their story is, Mm-hmm. I'm always, I'm like my song, you know, I think, I, know. I think, yeah, I think you mean like, you know, Metallica or somebody, but no, they mean you. And uh, that's my favorite part. So yeah, getting to meet the fans, getting to hear their stories and then have a rock show. Come on, come on out. Mm-hmm. Come to those shows. It really good. doesn't get, doesn't get any better than that, man. So, so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, we meet fans every day, every show. And uh, you wouldn't believe how many fans come up to us and say, you guys must hate this. You guys must, uh, you guys must just hate this. And we're like, <laughs> and we're like we, you know, be honestly, this is like John, you said, I'm like, we love this. We love mm-hmm. hearing the stories. We love to see how we have impacted your guys' life because be, to, to be honest, like sometimes we become a little complacent. We tour every day, it gets monotonous. Sometimes we need a bit of that fan wake up call to tell people like, dude, you're, you guys like are doing something like you number one, you're living your dream. Number two, like people, there's a lot of people that appreciate what we're doing. Sometimes we forget and, mm-hmm. and uh, it all kind of puts it in perspective. And sometimes it's great meeting fans. Like you said, people just say like, you know, we love your music for whatever reason. It's just like, it's sometimes hard to handle, to be honest. It's, mm-hmm. it's weird. Mm-hmm. It's hard to, like, yep. I don't know what to say. Sometimes I'm like, I, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's like yeah, I wasn't built for, sure. for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I was t- just talking to somebody about that um, a, a day or two ago. It, it's still 
surreal to hear those kind of things like you know because I mean it feels so when you're putting out a song or writing a song it doesn't feel like it's that monumental you know I mean it's just a but it yeah you meet people and hear stories and it's just it's mind-blowing you know it really is yeah and we're just like everybody else that's how you write those songs it's because we we have all the same go through all the same shit so mm -hmm. it's it's we're not trained to actually deal with a lot of uh, right. the people, you yeah. know what I mean? We're not, mm -hmm. we're not trained. So it's, mm -hmm. it's like we're in a situation where like, I, I don't know how to handle the situation, but mm -hmm. you know, we are honored to be able to do this and still do it. And it's awesome. This is going to be great. But I mean, I, if I see one more, if I see one more person say, Skillet, come to Greece. I'm booking the flights for you guys myself. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. I just saw it, and I would love to go to Greece. <laughs> it's so awesome. Yeah, it oh, is, is awesome. Great. That yeah, is great. So tickets are on sale. I don't, I don't know what else to say, man. Uh, this is cool. We got to come and hang. We should do this again, uh, like on tour. Maybe we should do some little backstage thing where we just yeah, uh, do it live. Absolutely. We'll be hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Months a week We're or something. Looking for, looking for stuff to do, I think. You know, the majority of uh, days, there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, you know, wait, wait around. So, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, I don't know what you guys got planned for the day. People have been asked us when our album is coming out. I, I can't say just yet, but I think we're, we're saying in like two weeks or something. There's an album coming out. I don't even right. I know what date it is. I think the date I gave was February 31st, and then someone told me there's no February 31st, so that's not <laughs> it. That's, that's not, not it. correct. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yep, chances yeah. are that's not the right date, uh, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Go pick it up. It's got to be there. It's yeah, there, there, there. Uh, there are things that singers are good at, and there are things that we're not very good at. Uh, details is one of the things we're not always the best at, you know, it's, it's coming. Yeah. It's in a few months, you know, it'll be there, but yeah, I can't wait to see the fans. And, um, I, I wouldn't mind adding to something y'all just said that I thought was absolutely dead on is, you know, when, when we hit the new year, I mean, some of this resurgence in rock music, in my view, I don't, there's no way to know if this is true. It's my opinion, but some of this resurgence to me seems like this has been a hard few years, right? It's been, as Adam just said, been, 2020 came and, and a lot of us have been sitting around a lot of people watching this right now. They're looking for hope. They're looking for something to help them like get back into life. And so I'm pretty excited about coming back, starting a new year on a tour like this. That's so energetic and so fun. It's going to really be a party. So I can't wait to see the fans. And I just want to say thanks to everybody for joining us on the live stream here. Yeah. Couldn't have said better yeah. myself, man. I'll just say yeah, ditto. Yeah, very well said. Yep. <laughs> ditto. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but hey, man, it's going to be good to see you guys, uh, I guess, in a couple months. Absolutely, yes. Man. Uh, months. It'll be before February 31st. It's Pretty January much. 45th. <laughs> the January 45th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tour starts. When am I going to Where am I seeing you guys? In a month? <laughs> see you guys in three weeks. <laughs> I don't know. It's coming. Back to bed. <laughs> yeah, cool man. All right, great, great to catch up. Thank you all the fans for hanging out on here, and we'll uh, go get your tickets now. And then the meet and greets, the San Antonio meet and greets, coming asap, and we'll see you all out on the road. Yeah, peace. Awesome, it's so man. good to see y'all. We'll see you soon, guys. Yeah, you too, see man. See you guys. We'll see you soon. You got see it. Right.